Hi, I'm Kim. And I'm Kevin here again at KKOA, Kevin and Kim Outdoor Adventure. We are brought to you again doing another one of our campsite or RV park overviews. Yes. We are at Rocky Branch Park Campground. Yes, we're going to Rocky Branch Park Campground. Hi guys. I am so glad you're joining us today for this overview. If you like us doing our overviews, hit the subscribe button and the like button. We appreciate the comments and we like doing this so that you're not um, unexpectedly shocked at what you find <laughs> like we were. <laughs> yeah, we were pretty unexpectedly shocked. Shocked and confused. And so we like to take that out of the equation for you so you can enjoy your experience and make those memories faster. So come along with us as we start this journey. All right. <laughs> Rocky Branch overview. All right, as we come into, you gotta follow the road, what it's highways are. long, on. windy road. I believe you're gonna be on Park Road. This is Park Road. Gotcha. Okay. So I come take this all the way down at the end. Yes. Just follow the signs so you get Rocky Branch recreational area or whatever that it that it shows. Looks like it's gonna rain on us a little bit, so that's okay. It'll still be the same. Yep. Straight ahead, as you can see, that is your check-in. This site is just like many of the others around here, Beaver Lake. It, these are run by the Army Corps of Engineering sites, so they're all basically uh, primarily the the same as far as procedures. And you can go to recreation.gov to uh, to book the campsite. So when you first come in, you're going to take if you go straight. Should we show them straight? Yes. Go straight. This is kind of going where the the day use, kind of the day use area that if you're just in the area and you just want to come have a picnic, come launch a boat. They have a roped off swimming area or a swimming hole, little beach into the day use area right here. A little shelter and a playground. I think you can rent these shelters if I'm not mistaken. This is shelter one. Yeah, so I think if you were going to have a family reunion or an outing or something, you can come down here and rent the shelter for a day. So I'm going to turn around here. When we first come out there, if you've seen our other video with our video of our normal rocky branch, when we first came here, there was a sign. We kept on going straight and there was a sign that said dead end. So uh, It's not really a dead end. It is a loop, but there's gates. So I think they put that on there in case they close the gates. Right. Just be aware. We're gonna go back up the hill here. We'll travel up to actually go into where the campsites and the campground are at as well. So when you get past the entrance, your first right. Right. is a dump station, bathhouse, and a trash can. And also where you get fresh water. Uh, all these sites here are electric only. So if you, they don't have water on the sites, but they do have a couple places you can fill up your tanks to, uh, uh, that you're gonna make sure you fill up your tanks because it's gonna be electric only. sites do they have that's 50 amp? There's only six sites that are 50 amp. The rest are only 30. Mm -hmm. And they are not your normal back-end sites. Some are longer. Some are more obstacle related. So hopefully we can enlighten you, show you some, so you know what to expect. 
there is no Wi-Fi. But cell surface works. They got 5G cell service really good in here. So that's it. Off to your right is the Rocky Branch Marina. They have some big boats, let me just tell you. Pretty, pretty boats. Yeah, the Rocky Branch Marina is not really part of the, the campsites of the Corps of Engineering, but it's its own separate marina, private owned marina, that you can rent slips and everything. Full service, gas, bait, everything. The marina off here. A little right. store. Absolutely. I believe they also have some hiking trails that are also here at the park. I only see one, and it is the Pine Ridge Trail. Gotcha. So the first we have is campsites one and two. They're right on the water. Yes. As Kim stated, a lot of these sites are very challenging to say the least uh, to, for backing in, for pulling out, for maneuvering. Uh, if you have a bigger uh, rig, camper, or something like that, you, you might have a lot of difficulty. Uh, you can check on the website about what size camper that, that each one of them will hold. And please don't don't think you can do anything different because they are definitely yes. a challenge. And if the water is high, they will close off some sites. So we're going into camp sites three to twenty-three. And five and six and twenty-three are only fifty amp. This is a loop? No. Yes. It's kind of a loop, but we're, we're not gonna, gonna go. go that way because it looks like yeah. The water's kind of There's high. a kayak up there. Oh my goodness. Yes, yeah, some of these are underwater. Is that the peninsula one that's out there? Yeah. Or is that just a table? No, that's a peninsula one, I believe. So or, it is actually a spot? Uh, I, I don't know, honestly. Yeah, it looks... It looks like two spots. Two spots. Where are they? Well, that's yeah. them right there. 25 and 24. I guess the only way to get there is by boat. <laughs> so they are underwater. 25 and 24. Yeah. It'd be a nice little island peninsula if you can ever do it. If the water's down, that would be, a, I don't know, it might be a beautiful sight. Surrounded by water all around. <laughs> Here's an actual pull through site on our left. Oh. Not too bad, so I see you know, Probably look for a small unit. You're allowed one RV and one tent, or three tents are only allowed on the campground sites. Just so you know, here's another pull through. A couple back up. A lot of the bathhouses are just potty. And they're more, they're not flushable potties, they're like porta potty. Yeah. Thing. Yeah. A lot of these sites, when the water gets high, they do uh, close them off. Here's, here's another swimming hole. They have another swimming hole over here. I believe they also offer, don't they have life jackets that you can borrow yes. or they? Life jacket loaner station. I think that's right it, right there. That's it, right there. Yep. Yeah. In this swimming hole area. Yep. And um, round 22, 20, that is where there's actually water showers. Mm. Well, it's waterborne born toilets. They're not actually showers. Some of these sites, they got them. They're underwater. Yeah, they're under. The electrical is right there in the water. That's fabulous. Yeah, these are right on the water. Yeah, they is. Not. That's kind of too close. Yeah. It's not. Kind of like the loop we're at because we got trees. Yeah. These are more out in the open. We're trying to play croquet in what little bit of grass they have at night. All right. So these are spots three through what?
this is kind of broken up to two different areas. You got the one area that has the sites over by the water that are on the water. Mm -hmm. And then you have another area that's kind of a little bit more inland and into the mountains. But that is a boat launch, isn't it? Yeah, that's another boat launch, a single. Which single is boat not, as you can tell, the why the cars are parked here. way to get to the other part of the park there is no signs absolutely no signs the last signs that you sh that we showed it said go straight and we did exactly that and if you go straight it takes you right over by the day use day use area the one area that said it was dead end mm -hmm. so then we discovered so we circled around this thing towing our camper and boat for about three times <laughs> so instead going straight right but here by the gate we're going to turn left this goes up kind of in more inland up the mountain here that's where the other loops are at if you had continued straight that would take you to the day use just so you know since there are no signs it makes it a little bit more difficult of what sites are where yes and all these sites over here are just 30 amp only. There's no bathhouse in this one, is there? There's a bathhouse at the other end. Um, go straight ahead. That will be... It's like 30. Um, 29. 29, 30, 31. One. 32, 33, 34, 5, 6, 7, all the way to 40. These Bye. sites are not that. There's also another shelter you can oh, rent. Oh, shelter number two. Sweet. Shelter number two. Nice. Yeah, these don't seem too terribly bad to pull in, I don't think. No. Let's see what some of these numbers are so we can. That number is right in front of us is campsite 33. 33. Right by the shelter, okay. 33, I bet you that's 34. Well, that veers off. And there's another playground, a small one. But it's good for the kids. Big open spots. then you got, what's this campground number? There's a couple. 31. 31. And maybe 32. And then this other okay. loop here. So we got another loop. What's that one off to your left? That's 35. Okay. This is one campground. And then <laughs> this is another one. Look at the driveway. And there's no roundabout, that's it. You come in, you're done. So this guy is literally would have to back it all in. Oh my gosh. Gosh, I, that's 37, 38, and 39. And ours is on a slant. Yes. 35, 36. Is that one right there? And then up to your right is 37, 38, and 39, and that's where we're staying. And there's another water station. Yes, and vault. Yeah. Bath, bathhouse, and these are really go goofy sites right up here. They are. They're kind of the way they got to go in. You got to back in funny or. Yes. So. But yeah, these are definitely the challenging sites. But one thing good about them, they all, I mean, they all have like yards and you could put a tent that camper so. right in front of us that is 39 just so you know look at the long driveway yeah they got a back end like some of these you have to go down and around 100 yards yeah this one's a little so, bit yeah i'm just saying uh, what one's this one i have no idea it's, pr it's pretty but definitely uh yeah once you get down there you're good 
That's a drop off too. All those little stairs that you saw going up, that goes down to the to the swimming hole right down there. Oh. Remember that swimming hole? Oh. That's what those stairs were. You said, where do those stairs go to? You come right up here? Yeah. Oh. Interesting. Well, that's cool. So, yeah. well, that's pretty much it for Rocky Branch. Yep. <sighs> Taking pictures. So, that's pretty much it. Uh, the overview for mm -hmm. Rocky Branch, uh, what is it, Rocky Branch? Rocky Branch Park. Park. Yes, so Rocky Branch Park and camp, Campground. Yes. Uh, like I said, you can go on to recreation.gov and uh, you know book it. It's one of the Army Corps of Engineering. So yep. the one downside that we did not like is there isn't any like signage. They yeah. really need to add more signs to kind of tell where to go. Absolutely. Uh, if it's the first time kind of coming here, uh, definitely can get lost. Uh, I would say. Yeah. You know, so hopefully this will help you not get lost. Yeah. So well, we hope you enjoyed. Uh, Another overview from KKOA. Bye. Bye.